Good afternoon. This is Craig again, ICT. Yeah, this episode is going to describe how to install the anti-stringing teeth um, that are usually at the bottom of the PA7 cache boxes. Um, newer units are already going to have these installed, um, but if you have some older cache boxes that you just want to uh, retrofit, um, they would uh, install on these that don't have those cache box teeth um, installed by default. So it's it's pretty easy to install. Um, you would need a few things um, to do this, however. Um, obviously, you'll need your older style PA7 cache box with no teeth. Um, the security teeth uh, set that comes from ICT. So it'll be the security teeth uh, plate, um, as well as two very tiny Phillips screws. Um, these are gonna be uh, double zero or even triple zero for Phillips. So um, if you don't have anything that small, like an eyeglasses uh, screwdriver, um, might be small enough to do that for you. So, without further delay, let's go ahead and show you how to get this uh, started here. So, in the actual security teeth themselves, there's two little holes. Um, you can probably see that one there, and then on the other side. Um, there you go. So there's two holes on the outside and one in the middle. The middle hole is not used. That actually sits in the little channel at the bottom of the cash box. Let's see if I can install this. Um, but there are no holes for the screws to go. So you will need a, um, you can just use your, your screwdriver or a paper clip and a lighter. Uh, since the cash box is plastic, uh, you just want to melt the plastic enough that you can start uh, the screws. So, um, starting off, um, the security teeth will actually just set in place if you just reach in and hold back the pusher plate in the cash box. Um, it basically rests in there as such. Um, so the hole here and then the hole over here still need to be made. The holes in the security teeth but not the actual plastic. So doing that um, like I said, just get a screwdriver and a lighter. You just want to heat up the tip a little bit, just enough that you can start the screws. Yeah, one side. Heat it up to the other side. So you might not be able to see, but um, I, I pulled the uh, security teeth up a little bit. So pulled out the plate a little bit, you can see the hole there on the bottom, uh, as well as the other side. So just push that plate back down and install those screws. So 
So it helps to have a magnetic screwdriver. Uh, as you can see, maybe these are very, really tiny screws. Um, don't know if I can focus on that for you here. Oh, there you go. That's probably as best as I'm going to get it for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's a really tiny screw. Um, but once you get it started in your hole, may have to apply a little bit of pressure on it because you are making your own new threads. But as such, once everything is uh, secured there, let me see if I can focus that for you. Um, the screw would be flush with those security teeth and therefore be uh, permanent. Um, if you do ever have to change those teeth, like a stringing attempt happened and this gets bent out, instead of having to replace the entire cash box, you would just take out these screws and replace these teeth. <clears throat> um, what happens when people try and, and string um, a bill? is they use either dental floss or fishing line, whatever. And these teeth will catch that and shred that string or give you a um, stringing error that will put your bill acceptor out of service until someone has a chance to look at it. It's just so people aren't, you know, taking your money. Um, Go ahead and get that other the second screw installed as well. Sometimes the whole may not be big enough, so go back and just heat it up again, get it a little bit bigger. And once you get the second one in there, um, both of your screws should be flush against that uh, the metal of those uh, security teeth. And that would basically conclude the steps on how to get those uh, security teeth installed.